Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to attempt a uh, winter princess mask and I'm going to be using um, this nice rainbow cake from Silly Farm. It's in uh, it's an avatar rainbow cake. Can you see it? Great. And then I'm also going to be using some of this um, rainbow cake. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's a little bit <laughs> etched off, but I'll have it in the description box below. And then I'm going to be using um, Wolf White. Such good stuff. I love it. It's really uh, creamy consistency and very, very pigmented. I'm also going to be using a Diamond of Flex Black, maybe. So, I hope you guys like what I've done. And, yeah, let's, uh, let's just get started. You're going to want to lightly spray your sponge. You don't want it too wet. You just want it wet enough to pick up the color. You're going to gently go back and forth, make sure the color is all there, and try to get at the very center of your forehead and just lightly dab the color in. And work your way around your eye, kind of in a C shape. You're going to want to complete it all the way around, and then make a snowflake shape in the center of your forehead as steady as you can with your brush. Little flicks here and there to add interest and detail. And you just want to continue it out. I know mine seem a little bit funky. It's been a while. But that's okay. You can always fix it. This is why we practice. I'm making my swirly, swoopy shape. Always looking at your reference pictures. Definitely helps you go along when you're just trying to be creative. And then something I'm definitely going to work on is my thick to thin line. Thick lines are okay, but mastering the thin to thick lines will give you more added interest and a nice dainty feel to some of your designs. Again, there's that fun swirly S shape because princesses are so nice and swirly. And you just barely come in under the eye there. And then where there's some spaces, you can add little starbursts or little clusters of snowflakes or snowballs, which is what I did. Not too much, but just where there's a little bit of room just, you know, to add interest, make it pretty. It's kind of tough to do when you're kind of blind. <laughs> Just different size dots for the snow. Really liking how the side's coming along. <laughs> Be careful around your eyes. I would definitely suggest getting a better mirror. A bigger mirror that you don't have to hold in your hand because it 
might compromise the integrity of your design, so I am well aware of that. Now, you can skip this step if you want. I just thought, why not give the eye a little bit more interest, so I put white sort of snowflakey accent on my lids there. I just thought it was fun at the time. <laughs> But of course, you know, you do what you want. And just look how beautiful and pigmented that that wolf white just comes right on there. It's one of the reasons why I really, really like it. And then you could take a wet wipe, a baby wipe, or a makeup remover wipe and just clean up any harsh lines, anything that's uneven that you don't like. Ideally, you want to do this before you detail, but, you know. And then for more added interest, I'm adding little, you know, icicles. Now, you can use brushes of various sizing. I'm using a low Corel. I feel like that's a number six brush, but different sizes will create different textures and different interest, and there's the finished look. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm open to suggestions. Feel free to comment below. And you can also follow me on my other social media as well.